First of all, think before build your battery pack. Um, I will separate a different topic and make your clear your mind. You know, <laughs> the first thing will be uh, purpose and uh, the feature you're going to need, and then uh, what the cell you're going to choose. You know. Uh, okay, let's. Uh, Getting started, the first, the purpose, uh, if you are looking for, you know, the battery for the longer run, you know, like a e back for the longer communicate, um, you definitely need the bigger batteries. Um, those batteries, uh, you pretty much can buy directly on the Amazon, because this is a very common purpose for everybody. The battery that I'm going to show you how to build it is this uh, battery. Uh, the purpose for this one is for the surfing board on the water, you know. So this is a very different, you know. The purpose for the longer run and the purpose just for the fun, it's very different. Like I said, if you are run e back just for fun, you don't really need the big battery, you know. You run the trail, maybe five miles, maybe ten miles. That's pretty much it. So you can actually just use a you know regular power tool batteries to run your uh, you know uh, bicycle. Those are very convenient, you know. With my adapter, just hook up on the battery frame and then use those battery to run your e bag. Uh, that's my point. Uh, the purpose is really make difference so say so this is a battery that i built for the surfboard on the on the water the big thing that i'm really concerned it's uh, want very thinner uh batteries not not you know you can see this is a very thinner this is only two inch in this way so it's very thinner let's see this is a so this is the battery that I built before. Um, I mean, this is like a regular way to build it. Um, so this you can compare is much thinker compared to this battery that I built right now. Because um, on the surfboard, so if it's too thin on the surfboard, it's it's hard to fit in there, right? Um, so that's uh, kind of my second topic, the features you need. Um, like I said, if it's for the surfboard, so the feature I need, it's waterproof, right? So this is a fully waterproof. I also separate the positive and the negative. The red is the positive and black is the negative. And also the connector, it's a waterproof connector. Let me see, I have this connector. The connector also is a waterproof connector. You can see it has a, um, you know, uh, sealed ring right there. So that's that's a connector that I'm used. Um, so the basic waterproof you can think about, you know, pretty much every battery, they will least like a waterproof because it sealed the battery. But uh, but the, the connector is definitely not sealed, you know. Um, that's why not only this connector is sealed, but also I separate them away, so make it even more uh, safe to uh, prevent the shortage. Uh, and also the another feature that I need on the water is this the on-off switch. I can turn it on, turn it off on the battery. This is actually a circuit break, so I just put it in there. So uh, why I need this? Because uh, you know, on the water, you know, you know, you play on the water, you definitely fall in the water. You can many times you're going to require to restart your system. <laughs> you know. <laughs> 
So the on off switch here is it's kind of necessary. That is the old feature that I need. It must be sync it must be singer first and uh, it must be fully waterproof even the connector, you know. And also I need on off switch on the battery as well. Uh, yeah, that's the feature you're going to think about, okay? Uh, depend on your purpose. <laughs> and then uh, uh, the battery cell you're going to choose. Uh, that's a common battery cell. So this is a 1865, your 1865 0. Um, Basically, the 18 means the 18 in the diameter, 65 in the high, and this is uh, 2170. You can see 2170, uh, which means the 21 in the diameter and 70 in the high uh, millimeter. Okay, um, and also there have uh, another kind of battery on the market. It's called a lithium phosphate. Um, I, 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 did not, I, I don't have this open, but uh, you can feel the seal is much bigger. Each seal is much bigger. Okay, this is it. This is the one seal. It's much bigger. Um, usually those battery, because it's cheaper, um, but those batteries, uh, the the power density, uh, it's much uh, lower than those one. It is majority used for the storage of the power, like a you know solar system. You want to use that big battery pack to storage the power. That's the purpose for those batteries. Most people not build those batteries for fun, you know, so. That's why I'm, I'm not going to talk about those battery cells. And uh, the rest is uh, majorly this two cell, uh, 1865 and uh, you know, 2170. Uh, and you know, the Tesla have a new kind of battery, the uh, 40, uh, 4680. Um, but it doesn't really <laughs> on the market yet. Um, but it's really depend on the size. So uh, the power density for these two is very similar. I mean, commonly they have special design for the old kind of battery. You know, it, it makes difference. But uh, commonly saying, uh, the the power density is the same. So those power density is much bigger than this. Uh, that's why if when we talk about DIY, the battery package, we usually talk about those kind of batteries. Uh, the major difference between these two, it's um, it's uh, current that battery can provide. Uh, for this small one, uh, commonly the current it can provide is a 15 amp, and uh, the bigger one, the current will be double the small one. So this bigger one can provide 30 amp current. Uh, let's go back to, you know, <laughs> the purpose for your batteries. Like I said, I built this for the third board. So which means my motor need big current to uh, drive. Think about the, the common battery that you can buy on the, like a Amazon. Um, for e bag because we're talking some bigger uh, battery pack. Uh, usually, they only have 30 amp current can provide with the battery. Doesn't matter how big it is, because they uh, put the um, the BMS board inside is smaller one, the cheaper one. <laughs> you can see, <laughs> you know, it will limit the current. Most time people doesn't really looking for those features, because um, like a common e bag only uh, you know thousand watt uh, motor, it probably only requires thirty amp current. So 
but when you be when you build something different, like uh, I build a power motor, right? Electric power motor. So my electric power motor, the motor <laughs> will be require hundred amp current, even two hundred amp current, depend on the size. You you not only need a bigger battery, but the most important, you need bigger current can fit your motor. Um, so that's why for this battery, I use this uh, 2170 bat uh, uh, battery cell uh, because each cell can give 30 amp current. Uh, and this is only a double, parallel of two of them, which is give a, a 60 amp current, which is enough for my, uh, you know, surfboard motor. Uh, so that's the, you know, that's the way how you uh, choose the cell, you know. Of course, the battery design can be very different, you know. If this, uh, you know, battery, if you take out from the uh, laptop, the probably maximum current can only provide like a one amp, you know. It's very low. But if you if you talk if you take out those batteries from the power tool, you know the power tool batteries, those are, will be commonly have a fifty amp um, current you can provide. Um, yeah, that's it's just a common sense I'm talking about. So this uh, twenty one seventy battery commonly can provide uh, thirty amp current out. Uh, but when you buy the battery cells, you definitely need to know, you know, what, what current you actually can provide, you know. Uh, it's really, you know, battery by batteries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a kind of topic. Make clear of your mind uh, before you build uh, your uh, uh, battery pack. Like I say, if you can find the batteries already on the market, usually, it's better why you just buy the batteries, <laughs> you know, <laughs> not build for yourself, you know. But uh, I just I just can't find the <laughs> you know the battery made for the server. Uh, if you do have uh, on the market, but it's way expensive, you know, way expensive. So that's why uh, you know I build this one, you know, for that purpose, for my uh, server. This is a fourteen serial link and two parallel link battery um, which is uh, 52 voltage and uh, 8 amp power uh, battery can provide uh, 60 current 60 amp current continually so so that's the whole <laughs> you know purpose for me to build a smaller battery but has a big current to provide my uh, motor to run. So the next one I'm going to talk about how I, uh, you know, build this battery with uh, no uh, soldering need. Um, everything there. That'll be um, in next videos. Okay. See you next time.